TV. You know, pontinous came and um it ain't really nothing out. You know what I'm saying? That's 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 um captivating the people. I mean, you know, it's a, bunch, it's a bunch of niggas trying to catch the vibe of whatever happened before. Mm -hmm. I mean, I, that's what I see a lot going on. Exactly. Niggas are trying to catch previous vibes. And it's like, you got you to gotta free your mind and take a chance on creating a new vibe. All day. And if you don't do that, then what do you do? Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, Following suit. We didn't become the leaders of the pack by um, saying, well, what was hot last week? Let me run with that. That's, exactly. that's not how New York became New York. I was just thinking about you that. What I'm New York still ain't got his own identity. Right. And, and, and it, but, but how do we lose it? From, from you know, jumping on bandwagon. Yeah, man. That's what I'm saying. Basically, we start the trends. Exactly. We set the trends. But now we went from setting the trends to being the followers. Yeah. And, and that's a big that's a big issue. Yeah, you feel me? Right. I mean, that's a hell of an issue right now with the game. You feel me? So that's what's going on. You know? Definitely. Crazy that, all right, that American gangster. Right. Now, with that, who owns the rights to the... Uh, oh, who owns the rights? Universal on, on, on the rights to American Gangster, but how they did it is uh, initially when the OG, you know what I'm saying, stood on the contract and that part was done. Um, you know, there was clauses, you know, due to a lack of understanding by, by, the, uh, by the lawyers involved. You know what I mean? And, and him being him, you know what I'm saying? He go by the ones. He don't understand. He from an era where money talk, money was king. Contracts, yes, listen, I ain't trying to hit that. What is it? Seven million dollars, five, whatever. You know what yeah. I'm saying? So I That's what it was. So they hit him with the numbers that he asked for. So he was just like, boom. I was like, pop. Gotcha. He was like, I don't should be going to So you was one. doing the translation. Right. The I, was, I was trying okay. to do the translation. Gotcha. But at the end of the day, you know, your pops is always gonna be like, nigga, I know what I'm doing. Yeah. That's pops, you feel me? Yeah. You know how I go. Facts. Right, and you met him before, so yeah, you know Yeah, nah, nah, he, right. de he definitely let me know. He ain't trying to hear none of that. <laughs> right, he ain't trying to hear none of that. He moved with a certain energy, you know yeah. what I'm saying? So I got him. Uh -huh. But um, yeah, they, you know what I'm saying, they jammed the situation up. We had we had about, I would say, four offers for television series mm. since the movie ended. Wow. But we couldn't do nothing. We had one with uh, Showtime, one with HBO, one with Stars. And uh, uh, another one. Uh, I can't. I can't remember exactly who it was. Um, but those are the three that I can remember. Mm. And um, we wasn't able to execute and follow through with anything. Due Why? Because the they wanted to use the brand, the American Gangster brand. Nah, due to the fact that uh, due to the fact that it was signed on. You know what I'm saying? But uh, it was signed on and owned by Universal. So they didn't want to. They didn't want to get into a battle with Universal. You know what I mean? They, they had. They, they kept. They, they accessed and captured the rights. Gotcha. to the situation. So when they did that, it led to a situation where, um, it led to a situation where basically in a nutshell, you know, it handicapped and immobilized us from moving forward as far as closing out those deals that we had available to us. Mm. So people became scared of the brand in terms of how to move. It was like, okay, well the old man said it's good, go forward, but Universal was saying they're not releasing the rights. Wow. You know what I'm saying? So it became a crapshoot. So they had the rights from uh, 2000, from, uh, from 2000 and I would say two. Oh, oh, that long ago? Yeah, because remember, wow. the movie was first done. First we had Antoine Fuqua. He was, he yeah, was, that's right, you did tell guy. me that. Yeah. Then Antoine Fuqua, he had to peel out because he got into a, uh, he got into a situation with uh, with some of the people, you know, there was, there was a dispute uh, between some of the people high ups in, 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 you know, in, in, in the chain and on that side. And they were like, uh, they wanted him to go about it a certain way, and he wanted to go about it another way. So it created a, 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 a flush out, so to speak. Mm. You know what I mean? In terms gotcha. of their communication levels. Mm. So the movie was canceled. That was in 2005. Wow. The first time the movie was canceled. I was sitting in the office when it happened. The movie was flushed out, and we wasn't able to go forward. That created a situation where a tailspin occurred. So then me and my cousin Bernard Alexander, you know what I'm saying, he used to be the head of Death Squad. Mm. You know what I mean? We went and got a, a situation with Abby Lerner over at, uh, uh, what's Abby's company? Uh, damn, what's the name of the company? He, his company's right there. The same company that did um, Expendables. Okay. So if you go back, wow. you'll see what that is, right? That's so amazing. So got Abby yeah. Lerner, who was the owner of that company. Mm -hmm. We got to deal with him. He bought him Will Smith for 25 mil. Mm. And, um, and, and uh, not Leonardo DiCaprio, uh, the other one, 
the other one, uh, the one who played in 12, Brad, Brad Pitt. Okay. To play Richie Robbins. You know what I'm saying? Wow. So he bought him in for 20, he bought Will Smith in for 25. Upon hearing that, Universal said, we're going through with it. And they opened the, they opened the books back up again. You know what I'm saying? Because when so, they found out we moved forward and we got created another wow. situation, it was like, nah, we, we that's us. We doing it. You understand mm. what I'm saying? So, so y'all had Will Smith on deck. Yeah. And we had we had Will we had Will Smith on we had Will Smith on deck and uh, Leonardo DiCaprio and not Leonardo Di oh. DiCaprio, um, Brad Pitt. Brad Pitt. Right. For the for the for the for the film for the for the for the film with Abby Lerner. You know what I'm saying? Uh, and, and that company over there. Um, so crazy. so when that transpired uh -huh. and, and they got involved when Abby when Abby Lerner got involved. They know he's a serious player from, mm. from an independent perspective, but he's, he's a rich dude. Like, mm. Son is not, he's far, he's far from being a regular guy in Hollywood. Gotcha. You know what I mean? He got, he has a lot of power, you know, mm. um, you know, just like the universes, but he's just independent. He chose to remain independent. Mm. So when they found that out, that's when they was like, universe was like, all right, we're going to pick up, we're going to pick up the option. We're going to do it. You know what I mean? So Pops is like, all right, we're going to run with universe. Let's let, just let it be what it is. You know what I'm saying? Gotcha. So when that transpired, that created a tailspin, because Universal was like, um, it was like, all right, now we're gonna bring in. There's no more Antoine Fuqua, so there's no more black. There's no more black director now. So what happens now? All of a sudden, we're bringing in, uh, bringing in the really Scots of the world. You know, this guy, that guy. You know, Brian Grazier, of course, Brian Grazier, mm -hmm. and, uh, and Ron Howard being imagined. It was always a part of it from the beginning. You know what I mean? Um, Cause that's how the whole thing came about in the first place, and um, and then they developed the screenplay and the script and, and moved forward and, and started and started you know really really going forward to get the thing done. That's how that came about. Yo, somebody um, text me and plus they left a message on IG. Really? You used to rap under the name Everlast. I've been Everlasting since I I took I took uh, I got I, be, I became Everlasting when I took my. I got my supreme mathematics okay. and knowledge itself at 11 years old. Oh, wow. I became Lord Everlasting like God of Love. You know what I'm saying? Since 11 years old. Wow, salute. Yeah, and I took my shahada when I was 14. You know what I mean? You know, uh, uh, you know, started studying nation Islam. You know, yes, sir. You know, and so law community, different different things that was in our community at the time, you know, that, that represented, you know, because when we was coming up, it wasn't a whole lot of access to information like YouTube and it. So we had to go to the source, right? Yes, Try to build and get the degree so we could become educated because our parents didn't necessarily have that information. Like now we can pass that to our seeds because nice. we, we got knowledge itself. So it was harder for us because we had to find knowledge itself. It wasn't readily available like it is, you know what I'm saying? Like you want to learn something about the gods and the earth, you can just tune in on Amrec and listen to a mean bill. You know what I'm saying? You feel nice. me? So that now, nice. now you got access to that, but it wasn't like that before, you know what I mean? So it's a different situation now, man. Definitely. So, like, I mean, because building with you, you sharp. You know what I'm saying? And you coming from, of course, your father's legacy, mm -hmm. and then everything that transpired from it. Right. You mean to tell me, and I know you're going to tell me now, mm -hmm. but you mean to tell me it wasn't scripts or orphans or your story well i'm gonna be honest with you uh -huh. lord i felt like i felt like i was kind of wrapped up there, there's certain history with certain individuals in the game that's supposed to be top dog artists uh -huh. and they know my level mm. so you know and i'm not saying that without without being willing and proven you know what mm. i'm saying like that's not a, that's not an issue for me you know mm. um it's what niggas do like when i hear you you know, a lot of people try to. Oh, and put me in the and, box. And Brett, that yeah. dude, that dude, that dude, interviews. Yeah. Nah, my nigga got bars. Yeah. Like seriously, and it's not just because first. he's that my was man. First. He yeah. got bars. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah, that was. So we all grew up. A lot of us that grew up with bars, but we just didn't have the opportunity for certain things. Yeah. But um, salute. yeah, I've been one of them. I've been salute. one of them guys. Absolutely, fam. I've been one of them guys for a long time. You know what I'm saying? Uh -huh. I'm, I'm always willing to prove that if anybody doubted, we get on the <laughs> record, and it's not a problem. You know what I'm saying? Anybody want to prove that? So, but I felt like. When, when the situation transpired, uh -huh. you know, I showed certain a certain resilience and resistance mm -hmm. to what was going on mm -hmm. um, about how certain things were being, you know, manipulated in, 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 a, 
in, 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 in certain ways. Gotcha. And I, I just wasn't no bad out type of nigga. You know what I'm saying? Gotcha. No cap and no disrespect mm -hmm. to anybody in the industry, but you know, they, they move a certain way and I was like, I'm just not with it. Like I like I told you before with the whole thing with with old boy. It wasn't it wasn't mm -hmm. it wasn't never any disrespect on my behalf. I've always respected him as an artist. And I just feel like, you know what I mean, he understand, you know, what I do. You know what I mean? A lot of cats understand what you do sometimes, but they just, they just want to manipulate the scales. Because you know what it is? I get a sense that a lot of people don't appreciate competition. Like for me, I'm, I'm, the, I'm the kind that I want to get on the record, you know, with Jada and and, 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 and Black Dog and Nas. I want to I wanna be on a record with all of them cats because I felt like I belong in a certain place. But until I get on those records, I can't really validate that. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I know where I'm at, but, it, but until you see how it stack up, other people can't, they'll never get that. You know right. what I'm saying? Am I saying I'm nicer than them? No, I'm saying I belong in that conversation. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You're I would never say I'm nicer than them. You're amongst the I, I feel, like, I feel yeah. like I'm somewhere in there. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So it should be her. Yeah. Right. That's, that's all I'm saying. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Gotcha. But even, even, even I just, as an artist, even, even um, going forward to creating those situations about those deals that were developed for after, after American Gangster for, for an actual TV series or, 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 um, or a cable series. Mm. Those things were, you know, were always hindered and, and put in a certain way. You know what I mean? You know, um, you know. Of course, we had our opportunities in certain ways. Like I, like I was telling you about Pop and Dip. <laughs> but yeah, that was funny he, he shoots a lot. He, he shot a lot down because his thing is, you know, he come from where. Put the money on the water. It's all good. Exactly. That's it. Yeah. He don't want to talk. I'm like, well, we got to work out things and negotiate them. Yeah. But he like, ain't nothing to negotiate. Mm -hmm. Where the check at? Let's go. Yeah. You know what I mean? I'm like, but yeah, we got to negotiate how many years. Mm -hmm. You know, what the content is going to be about. Licensing, Where's the licensing, the rights, all of that. You know what I mean? Like, man, man with a check. You know what I mean? But you, yeah, honestly, you come, he come yeah. from that era. You know what I mean? You're yeah. talking about somebody who was born in 1930. Fast money. That grew up Listen. in the rural south. That didn't shit about, you know, much. So, um, you know. A third, I'm talking about a man with a third grade education that outsmarted his adversaries. You know what I'm saying? And, 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 you know what I mean? In, in, in terms of being in that arena in the street. So his mindset was one way. My mindset being that I'm from that generation, generations past that, my mom was like, this is an opportunity and we could freak it like this. Gotcha. You know what I mean? When we was on the movie set, cats are saying to me every day, Yo, so this is big. So what y'all gonna do with this situation? I mean, every day they was coming to me and asking I me that. Imagine that. Yeah, every day. What y'all gonna do with this situation? It's like, mm -hmm. it's not really incumbent upon me to make that call. But it was definitely, it was definitely a moment where we had the city in an uproar and niggas just looking sure. forward to see what happened next. Yeah. At this point, you know, my challenge is to show, show out and show everybody that the old man may be gone. But it doesn't change the fact that the legacy goes on. on it don't right. go on because I say so. It goes on because I show you. Because mm. talking is cheap. That you can say true. anything out your mouth. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? But what are you really going to do to substantiate your claims? Fact. You feel me? I mean, every nigga rap. Excuse my language. Everybody got bars. Everybody's producing. Everybody's right. in Hollywood. But what are you going to do to separate yourself yeah. from everybody else? Mm -hmm. You know, if we go to a teacher and the teacher says, I want 10 people in the room to give me an essay. What's going to make your essay stand out in 50 words from the next person? You know, and when you start thinking like that, and then you have the, the talent and the ability and the vision to execute that, then that becomes a problem for other people. But but in this game, a lot of people like to stop the gate before you even get out of it. You know what I mean? That's what they do. Right. That's a part. That's a part of it. So called you know gatekeepers. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So called gatekeepers want to block, you know, uh, brothers' blessings with true talent. And, right. and all we trying to do is put our peoples on and our family on, so they could be. You know, having their own situation and feed their families, you know. But you know, not a game go. I'm, I'm, when, 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 when the nigga says at the end of the record, you know, you say you say you, you see the clip I sent you, right? Um, you're yeah. inspired yeah. by yep. the situation, okay? So what's the Lukey baby? Ha, 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 what is that about? Then that's inspiration, my nigga. Or is that just saying I'm clowning y'all niggas? I'm just asking because mm -hmm. I don't know. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? What, mm. I'm just asking a question. It's a yeah. legit question. You yeah, feel me? I don't know. Yeah, right. he, he needs to answer. You know what I'm saying? That. Right. Yeah. And, and I, honestly speaking, like I told you, mm. I'm not interested in the answer, really, because mm. I kind of feel what it meant. Because we from the green. Yeah. So it's sure. like the same thing he meant by it is what we feel. You know, we all from the streets. And we, mm -hmm. When a nigga do something like that, you get it where it's at, whether it's a nigga with 100 billion or a nigga with $10. The energy yeah. is the same. 
Like if we in the hood and the nigga say, yo, you good, bro? Mm -hmm. That's one I'm good. Oh, you good. Nigga next thing say, yo, you good? Yeah, that turned, that's a that's different, a different frequency. Right. Yeah. But it's the same words, but a different yeah. frequency. So yeah. we understand the hood frequency because we from it. You feel me? Right. Now, you know what I mean? speaking on that, when you did, you know, I guess, come into contact with old boy, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying, Jay-Z or whatever, what was the vibe like initially? Like, you know what I mean? Being, because you know, he is who he is, but still in all, like first meeting him, mm -hmm. what was them vibes like? What was that frequency like? First time I met Jay, um, you know, that was that was years ago. It was actually twice. One mm -hmm. time in Brooklyn at, uh, I believe it was Fresh Garden House. I can't exactly say when. Gotcha. You know what I'm saying? Well, that was a minute ago. Right. Fresh and then, and then yeah, because I've been mm -hmm. yeah, doing this yeah. minute, yeah. right? And then I met him, I met Jay again at Def Jams. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? This is right after they dropped that president's house. I came back from Orlando. I was down there for a minute. You know what I'm saying? I met him and Dame in the office. Mm -hmm. And it was... You know, they was moving like however they move. Uh -huh. I ain't get too much swerve, but I was like, y'all respect the record, my nigga, this shit is hard. And the niggas had a little funny energy like, yeah, ha, ha. like, oh, what? I'm like, wow. but not on no, yeah. you know what I'm saying? I don't know direct this. They were just because it would have turned shit. up right there. Yeah, they were just showing their And I'm mm -hmm. like, okay, general, I see how you yeah, niggas are, yeah, so yeah, it is yeah. what it is. You feel yeah. me? You know what I'm saying? Uh -huh. I was like, okay, it is what it is. But my thing was, you know what I'm saying? I didn't come at you, but I, my, my mindset was like, if these niggas get to here, you know what it's going to be. You already see the energy, but it's okay. Because a lot level, of niggas move like that. Yeah. They change it. I'm, I'm not yeah. mad at nobody for how they move. I respect it. My thing is, um, when it got to the movie, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? Like I said, when we did it, when we did the Charlie Rose show, I didn't go upstairs. I didn't go in the green room. I didn't do mm -hmm. none of that. I sat the whole time. I sat in the truck and I was walking around the, um, the grounds. And the reason why, to be honest with you, yeah, tell me. Because, like I said, I don't want to see. I already know what you mean. I know how your energy is. I know I know mm. the thought process. So I just rather stay off of you. You feel me? Because mm. there's no words really to have. Gotcha. You know what I'm saying? I get gotcha. it. Gotcha. But I had the window pale down. Old man, old man said what he said to him. You feel mm. me? You know what I mean? If anybody want to feel like I'm lying about that, I mean, you know, <laughs> I don't know what's so impossible about it, man. You know what I'm saying? You know, despite what niggas may think they know about the old man, you know, they say, oh, whatever you did in the street was a race. Yeah, speak on that. Yeah, nigga, you can say whatever you want to say about it being a race, but the truth of the matter is that the legacy is still going on right now. And the other truth of the matter is that at the end of the day, you know, you can never erase a nigga that outsmarted the Italian mafia. Oh. You understand what I'm uh -huh. saying? And that's a fact. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. and, and the thing about it is there's two, there's two cases of history, not just my pops. Frank Matthews, it also happened to Frank Matthews. Mm. Frank Matthews was, was a, a, you know, a boss of bosses. You understand what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Top level. You know what I'm saying? Him and OG in different in different things in the same game was kings right. I mean, super kings yes, right sir. because if you think about it right when Nicky started the commission mm. you know what I'm saying Frank thing he didn't get down with that not Frank Lucas or Frank Matthews mm. there's a lot of names that we know that got down with the commission mm -hmm. Frank Frank James uh, uh, um, wasn't God Fisher God Fisher you know what I'm saying mm -hmm. Bat Batman no, but Bat was already with Nicky. Um, it's, mm -hmm. it's, it's a lot. Of, it's a lot of cats that was with that, but mm -hmm. the old man never got down with that. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm already doing what I'm doing. I'm already at a certain level, and mm -hmm. I'm moving a certain way. Mm -hmm. I don't need to join what you're doing. You feel me? That's you know right. what I mean? I'm Superman. The Justice League need me. I don't need the Justice League. Mm -hmm. You feel me? That That's kind right. of mentality, so yeah. to speak. And Frank Matthews the saying they was both super kings. Um, you know, the guys in my circle, my pops was real tight with was guys like Black Joe and. And, and uh and, and Jimmy Terrell, Goldfinger, you know mm -hmm. what I mean? Guys like that. You know, um mm -hmm. there was there's a lot of cash he rolled with that he did a lot of business with. Um you know what Pee Wee and him and him and Pee Wee had a, a certain decorum with each other, you know, that was mm -hmm. cool and respectful to each other. You know, although Pee Wee was down with with the uh with the commission, Pee Wee was a boss in his own right. You couldn't tell him what to do. Pee Wee was king, man. Mm -hmm. you know I mean he was not only a king in the, in the streets, he was a king in basketball. Yes, he was moving heavyweight diamonds like this nigga you know what I'm saying he was just you know what I'm saying right. so so the truth of the matter is that you know you always respect people's mindsets and what they think they know you know what I mean like I had a cat hit me up today he said he did snitch didn't he I said bro watch the rest of the interview man because 
my thing is, I don't, you think I'm going to go back and forth with you yeah. when the interview is telling it yeah. all? That's, what do I need to explain that's to you? That's the whole purpose. What do I need to explain? What, what do I need to explain to you? The, the interview, interview is for informative right. information. Exactly. It's going it's to give you what you exactly. need to know. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. so, so, as far, so as far as that goes, back to my original point, as far as yeah. that goes, you know, um, the, the issue that they had is that they was two powerful as individuals uh -huh. and they both had an option. You know, to disappear, you know what I'm saying, or deal with the consequences because there were certain people that wanted, it was in the best interest of certain families mm -hmm. to get rid of Frank Matthews. Mm. It was in the best interest of certain families to get rid of Frank Lucas. Mm. You know what I'm saying? They was doing too much. And their power was only getting stronger. You know what I'm saying? You couldn't push them off their mark. You know what I'm saying? They wasn't puppets on the string. Mm -hmm. You know, Nikki worked, you know, for Joe Gallo. You know? Mm. Um, but Nikki was a super live wire, but he worked for Joe Gallo. You know what I'm saying? So they had a chain on that, so to speak. Frank and Frank, you know, they 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 was independent marksmen for what they what they did themselves. You know what I mean? Once once the old man, he was already in the business, of course. Like I said, he was in, he was in New York since '46. But the truth of the matter is that once he once he uh, moved forward and started getting his own, basically his own supply on a, on a whole nother tier. And he didn't have to deal with the Italians no more. Mm. Once he made that move overseas and got that locked in, it was a wrap. Yeah. Dollars, forty-two hundred a brick. You understand what I'm saying? At ninety-eight percent pure, ninety-eight, ninety-eight point seven percent pure. You understand what I'm saying? What do you, what do you do with? What, yeah. That's that. It's, it's, it's not, it's not, it's not too much you're going to do with that. You know what I'm saying? You understand what I'm saying? You know, ninety-eight point seven percent pure, forty-two hundred a brick. You know. 10 times and it's still standing. You can hit it another five times still after that. Cold. You understand what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. um, so we, we're not, we're not, we're not here, you know, um, we're not here praising the drug situation. Yeah, what we're talking about is the chron me. chronological history yeah. of what transpired. So just to make that clear for any of your viewers, gotcha. you know, we, we're not here, we're not here praising the drugs. We just setting the record straight because people seem to have their history mixed up. Mm -hmm. You know, so I don't have a problem with setting the record straight. Peace world to promote your music or promote your business by placing an ad on MREC TV. Contact MREC TV promo M R E C K T V promo at gmail.com. Peace. Oh, yeah, subscribe to MREC TV, youtube.com slash MREC TV. I'm gone. Wreck TV. It's got a music.